Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here with our top five for E3 going into 2021. Before we hop into this, if you have missed any of the stuff from this year's E3, cool website down in the description below where I pulled most of this content off of YouTube from there. So without further ado, let's go in the top five and we will start with a good one here. And number five, Falling Frontier and Terra Invicta, release date of 2021. No solid dates, but Hooded Horse behind the Long War mod of XCOM. The first one with Falling Frontier looks pretty cool that you can take your vessels, uh, modular vessels at that, and kind of take over a region of space or an, an entire area of space looks pretty cool. And I do like the idea that you could see some cool interaction with that. Next one is Terra Invicta, and this is a wild, crazy idea, but I love it. Preparing for an alien invasion of the soul system, trying to unite Earth, but also building outposts throughout the solar system. Pretty cool idea. So I'll have to see how this one does pan out. Pretty risky, but I like the premise. So for number four, Far Cry 6, slated for an 8 October 2021 release date. The villain. Ooh, ooh. So, so good. The idea, the story. I think it's going to be good. Better than what we experienced in the last two Far Cries. But the biggest thing that kind of draws me in is on their E3 presentation, they talked about wanting to revamp the series in a way to make it more true to the experience of being a guerrilla fighter in this, fighting it against the government here, fictional government. But the idea that they want to revamp around that idea and kind of come out with some wonky weapons, but also have some good tactics, uh, some stealth, that sort of thing really looking to revitalize it and i'm really intrigued by this so this is one that we will definitely be checking out it's been on my radar for a while and i think we might get back into the far cry series i think the last one i played was far cry maybe four i don't think we played too much of five on the channel so Looking forward to this and see what wonky and crazy things Ubisoft comes up with this time. It feels a bit like the weapons are a lot modular. And that's what I really enjoy with that. So you saw the one there. You got like a 3x sight. And then able to tip the weapon over and have a 1x is pretty cool. But of course the, the wonky things with the roosters. And it's a typical Ubisoft game. So number three, Battlefield 2042, slated for October 22nd. This one looked absolutely wild. I'm ready to get out of the whole idea of World War I, World War II. I'm ready to get back into modern shooters and definitely back into a Battlefield modern shooter at that. I have a lot of questions though with the game itself. Kind of centered around dynamic environments. How dynamic are they really going to be? I think in 4, there was a couple levels that only one or two buildings were able to come down. So I'm not sure how destructive a lot of the environments are going to be. I am really looking forward though to hopping in a modern battlefield game. With some good aircraft, uh, jets, helicopters, tanks. All the good stuff actually fast moving tanks at that able to assault objectives quickly but worrying about the whole idea of a full battlefield uh, experience what also intrigues me is the idea behind the climates of the battlefields themselves changing so you see here a tornado i mean we're coming into a more dynamic environment and how is that going to be changing like that? I also don't know how I feel about the modular system being able to mod weapons on the fly. My guess, it's going to be pretty limited, but I think it could be pretty good. 
So rolling into number two, Halo Infinite. It's been a long, long time since we've had a Halo game. This one's slated, uh, projected around December. I think holiday season is what they announced, but we've had some leaks saying December. So with Halo, I was a big player in the multiplayer back in high school before that. Well, it was 15 years ago at this point. But the story has really gripped me as I've gotten older in this. I didn't think the story was all that great in the last game. So I'm hoping we have more dynamic around the Master Chief. Kind of going forward in a new story with him. The last Halo really didn't focus too much on Chief. It was more of a arbiter type game where you're switching between two sets of teams or at least two sets of characters and it kind of took away from the idea that master chief is on this journey after cortana so i'm really excited with that i'm excited to see what they do with a sandboxy open world type of idea with some new mechanics in there uh, it's funny because a lot of the books, things like that, talk about having things like a grappling hook, things like that that Spartans have and how powerful they are, but that we've never really translated that into a game. And I think we're going to see that for one of the first times of having some gadgets with our Spartans, something that's been in the lore and things like that for a long time. Also, seeing the humans after the covenant war that's one thing that hasn't been explored all that much in a lot of materials so getting beyond that and kind of seeing what's going on here could be pretty good but ultimately it's all about getting in to the story with master chief with multiplayer i am kind of hyped up with that it is a typical halo multiplayer though so there's some wonkiness over time, I think between two and three, maybe even three and four with some of the sprint mechanics, things like that kind of jacked up the uh, size of the maps. So hopefully we see some better maps uh, in that idea if they're gonna have sprint and, and the like, because Halo was one of the games that infinitely didn't have a lot of sprinting. So going into my number one, it is Dying Light 2, slated for 7 December 2021. This, I will say, Dying Light 1 still looks great today. But the biggest thing that changed my idea of gaming at this point was taking in the parkour elements, running around the the area being able to move from building to building run quickly uh, being chased by some of the more crazier infected and uh, zombies essentially i think they're technically zombies but the infected that are more uh, faster at night which was crazy it really put out an intense feeling of traveling this world at night and from what they have shown and what they have said night is going to be even more dangerous but also even more rewarding which to me as a player just sounds absolutely crazy and awesome they mix that into more dynamic environments based around your decisions some new weapons uh, messing around with the gameplay mechanics a little bit better uh, melee things like that but what also draws me in is having a mechanic in a game like Madden where you have a game inside of a game doesn't really pull me in a lot. But the fact in a story driven game like this where you have an underlying objective, like you have the story objective, and then you have multiple objectives to get that ultimate story objective, but having an underlying issue in the game, like continuing to be human throughout all of this just adds that feeling of risk reward for the player and for me 
ultimately it's about how you put all these elements together of how it could be i mean this game could be terrible if implemented just horribly but i have some faith in the fact that i like dying light one i'm going to walk in probably liking dying light two at this point so i am definitely going to hop on this day one it is going to be a magnificent beautiful game on pc so there's my number one hopefully it's some of your guys's uh, number ones in on your list we have a couple honorable mentions the biggest one is because we don't have a lot of idea around it is sherlock holmes chapter one so the biggest thing with this game we've i've seen some of the trailers that sort of thing it kind of plays it out as a uh, kind of like a vampire type deal where you're moving in a kind of get the feeling of an open world type deal or at least a sandboxy open wheel world type deal but i don't know much about this game if you do go ahead and drop it in the comments below it seems pretty intriguing because i like the fact that you could have situations where you have to figure out uh puzzles through clues and investigation i really like that in hitman there was one mission where you had to kind of uh, look at the clues of a potential murder and kind of put all the pieces together to get that for one of the story missions and i thought that was pretty intriguing in that i feel like this could be the same thing taken in the right direction but honestly i don't know more uh, much about the game really but I am intrigued with what could be here. Seems a bit uh, episodic as well, which I'm not totally opposed to in a game like this. You want to have it better in a story-driven game like this than anything. And I think we're going to hop into this when it does come out. The next one is a game we have played before and we plan on playing more of next month. That's why it ends up being in the honorable mentions along with Sherlock Holmes chapter one. And that is Humankind. It's later for 17 August and its release date. I really like the premise. There was some bugs in the open devs, the last two. But a lot of the bugs that were reported there seem to be fixed, at least from what the developers have said in the final build, or at least they're aware and so they will be fixed. I really like the premise of Humankind. I'm not sure some of the mechanics, how it's going to play out. I think the mods could be good. So I'm really kind of intrigued to see how this game kind of goes out. I ha kind of have the idea how a Civ type game is supposed to work. And this one is me having to break out of my habits of playing a Civ type game because a lot of the mechanics are much much different especially the building and territory you don't have your ability to build anywhere which kind of brings me out of my element in a game like this but this is going to do it for this video go ahead and leave a like below comment and subscribe tell me what you're looking forward to in a game released for 2021 and i will see you next time later